everything you see manifest here in the earth realm already took place in the spirit. Once have I spoken, twice have you heard. In another words, when God speaks one time, it will echo many times. Am I talking to somebody here? So if this was not the voice of angels. This is the voice of the Lord. The Bible says, and then thunders and lightning. So whenever God releases the blessing to come on earth, there will be lightning and thunder. And where there is lightning and thunder, there will be miracles and wonders. How many of you want wonders? How many of you want God to give you a miracle? I pray for somebody hearing the sound of my voice. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy One. That before this week is over. You shall encounter a miracle. You shall encounter the power of Savior. You shall encounter your divine help. Somebody shout out and save it. The Bible says the reason God called Moses. Was because God heard the cry of the people of Israel. So whenever people pray, when people pray in one accord, that's very important. There are a lot of people who are praying, but they are not in unity. When we pray in unity of faith, whenever we pray in one accord, there is only one thing that can happen, lightning and thunder. Earthquake. Am I talking to somebody? Whenever we pray in one accord, we disturb the kingdom of darkness. Am I talking to somebody? We come against the oppressor. Those who oppresses God's people. The Bible said they pray and God heard their prayer. The Bible says and God responded with fire from heaven. So while Moses was on his way, he saw a bush burning. The Bible says the angel of the Lord descended as like fire. Your victory is in your voice. When the devil wants to mess somebody's life up, he will take your voice. And when your voice is taken, your prayer life is taken. When we pray, we defy the law of mathematics. The Bible says one shall chase a thousand, and two will put ten thousand to flight. The ratio don't match. Two, ten thousand. If one is doing one thousand, two should do what? Two thousand. But we jump in the realm of the spirit. We defy it. We defy the law of mathematics. What God is about to do in your life will not make sense to people. They will say the ritual don't match. I know where she's working. I know her salary. I know the job she's doing. But God is going to bypass all of those things. When God is getting ready to bless a man, it don't matter the limitation. God will begin to bypass them. Because of one person here, God is about to break protocols. Now, there was a decree by the king. Say, nobody for the next 30 days, nobody must pray to any God. But if you must pray, you must pray in my name. In the name of the king. It was a decree by the king. Watch this. Watch this. And before then, the man already fell in love with Daniel. They had good relationship. Daniel made known to him his God. But the guy would not receive it because of tradition. Watch this. The reason why some of us are not receiving some things is because of tradition. The way we used to doing things. So if it's not that way, it's no way. That's why God's move cannot come to you because you are too... When you come to church, you just stand still. You're preaching good. (laughs) Statue of liberty. (laughs) Only than thou art it. I ain't talking to nobody. I ain't talking to nobody. I'm here with God and God alone. Hallelujah. (laughs) Am I talking to somebody? The, the king made a decree now and said, nobody must pray. The Bible says, and Daniel did not panic. Yes, sir. When you are faced with problem, the first thing to do is not to panic. See, see, let's watch. What did he do? He went into his house. Eh? No, 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 no. He opened his window. Before I used to pray quietly, you want to stop me? I'm gonna increase my volume. 
He opened the window. Watch this. Eh, come on, towards Jerusalem. Uh huh. He knelt upon his knees three times a day. All right. Oh, wait, wait a minute. How many times do you eat a day? Some of you eat five times a day. You know, some of you are foodie, you know. Yeah. You, you just love your food. Lord, have mercy. I see somebody raise their hand at the back. I said, you're talking to me. I eat five times. You know what I'm saying? Some of you eat four times a day. Some of you ten times a day. You know, you're always snacking. You're always putting something in your mouth. Hello. Ask me how many times should you pray a day? The same time you used to eat. The Bible says, and Daniel learned to pray three times a day. The record shows that Jesus, when he was in Gethsemane, prayed three times a day. Let me show you. Jesus prayed one hour, came back. Ah, Peter, you, you mean you cannot pray? But you want what I have, but you don't want to pray. There are some of you, you want all that God can give, but you don't want to pray. You saw the miracles, you love the miracles, but you don't want to pray. It is the prayer that will pull the hand of God down. God will not do anything until you speak to him about it. He knows everything, he's all-knowing. But he won't do it until you open your mouth. Look at your neighbor, say, open your mouth. Open your mouth. I, I say, open your mouth. Speak up. The Bible says, when a man's way pleases God. Remember, I told you, one of the ways to please God, give God pleasure, is through your prayer. So, when a man's way pleases God, he will make even his enemy to be at peace with him. The world would declare that this person, anyone who disobey, must go to the den of life. The Bible says, he became restless. Why? Because Daniel was what? Listen, when a man prays, the one who plants the plot to kill you will be looking for a way of escape for you. That's why the Bible says, He would get a pit. Say, shall fall therein. In this season, anyone digging a pit for you, anyone trying to cast you into the pit, I prophesy. As a man of God, I prophesy. As the prophet of God, I prophesy. Anyone digging a pit for you and your children, I command them to fall therein. In the name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Somebody said, I believe it. So that's said, you say. Prayer put your angel to work. Every time you pray. Prayer put your angel to work. Our uh, prayer releases God's glory or strength. The Bible said they go from strength to strength. In other words, God's strength will be made available for you when you pray. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. When you pray, you put God to action. Every time you pray, you are building your faith. Every time you pray, you are building your faith. Your faith makes you equal with God. Your faith brings you to the level of equality with God. A man who knows how to pray is not under pressure. Daniel should be under pressure. The man who prayed will be thrown into the den of lion. But he was calm, collected. The man had no pressure. Why? He knows that through prayer, God can deliver him. Anyone who knows how to pray will be relieved of pressure. And the king commanded that they brought Daniel. And cast him into the lion's den. Alright, watch this. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God. <laughs> you, you don't understand. He said, he said, he said, he said, Daniel, you know, I, I was tripping when I made that decree. And now, all these people that are up against me, I just have to do this, but I know that you're God. I, 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 I wish somebody can hear me. He said, Daniel, Daniel, I'm tripping as a king. I know you are the one with the king of kings. Let's show them what your God can do. 
in this season, God is about to show your enemy. I said, God is about to show your enemy what he can do for you. Are you listening to me? Can you imagine the one that wants to kill you is now testifying about your God? Watch this. It didn't say that the God which you serve might deliver you. It said, Thy God will surely, your God will surely deliver. Your God will surely deliver in this season. Who am I talking to? Your God will surely deliver your miracle in this season. Your God will surely deliver your children in this season. Your God will surely deliver your husband in this season. Your God will surely deliver your children. Somebody shout here. In this season, those who want you dead, they don't know that behind them, the major man is now on your side. You don't understand. When they gang up against you at work, they don't know that behind the scene, God already touched the boss. They are planning for you to be fired. But because God is in charge, they are about to promote you. I see God interjecting. I see God intercepting. I see God turning things over. You might be at the back side of life, but when you pray, God is about to turn it over. God is about to shift it. Somebody else. Come here. Come. Come. Stand right here. Pastor Peter, come. I said, God is about to turn it. I said, God is about to turn it. You might not understand the reason you are the backside of life. You might not understand why you are going through what you are going through. Right now, it feels that you are the backside of life. Everybody is talking bad about you. That nothing good can come out of your Nazareth. That nothing great can come out of you. Everybody is buying houses. They are buying new cars. They are getting married. And it seems that nothing good will come out of you. And you are at the backside of life. There is only one thing God needs to do. God just needs to flip this over. When God flips this over, the Bible said the first shall be the last. Every one of you turn, look at me. The first shall be the last. The last shall be the first. Are you listening to me, somebody? It was side of life he was at the back side of life God just turned the table around now he's at the front side of life God is turning your table God is turning your table it's working in your favor 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 it's giving you glory it's giving you miracles it's giving you blessing shout it shout shout it God has not begun with you yet. The devil is a liar. Hey, come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Open the cloud. Open the heavens. 
God for the glory. God for the favor. God for the miracle. Tell God what your month is going to look like. Tell him what this week will look like. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Open your mouth. Tell him what you want. Everything you need is already in the house. Everything you need is in the room. Everything you need is in the house. Everything you need is with the Lord. If you can pray, you can get it. Pull down the heavens. Call upon the name of the Lord. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Pray, 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 pray. Shut down the plans of the enemy. Open your mouth.